all right what is up welcome welcome all right let me see so i had a fleer on a javelin night warm up the aim a little bit try to get a vertex let's see I just have to do more more looting quests today. That's gonna be our objective is getting those textiles, getting the raven. I gotta go night hunting, that's right. I gotta go and find the priests. Haven't had any luck on the woods yet. Haven't had any luck on woods yet, but I'm hoping that that spawn rate is actually like 28%. And if it is, then I, I shouldn't have too many more runs until I get it. None of those. There's so many games on here now that I feel like... They're not all that good. Looks like let's go to addicting games. Dude, where are all the just mindless click games? I'm right next to the bus. Oh, with anything decent, I did not. All right, I'm just gonna run main road and then go check water treatment plant. If nothing's at water treatment plant, I'll pop the flare. sad what in, uh, lighthouses become. I think people either rush to the bottom to go do light keeper stuff or everything's pretty slow. There's more risk of player scabs on this map than there are of like actual players. Kind of I think this is probably one of the first maps that like People either leave alone or try to complete and get it over <coughs> over with. I know I uh, I know I pretty much leave them alone. I waited until I had like 
all of my quests. I had long road quests at the same time as I had the scavs at the freaking chalets. I had, what's the other one? Um, there's the, the one, oh, and then the water treatment. Water treatment rogues, the building rogues, all of those. I just put them off as long as I could. checking this building but all these I actually haven't found one of these valuable ones to actually be here I don't know if they they changed that spawn but it hasn't been there in like four runs not an egg not a gp key coin a skull enough That is kind of the thing about when you're on a scav though. When you're on your scav, you're kind of like, got another scav? You just want to make sure it's not a PMC. Stem and I was like, wait, I've never seen that stem before in my life. Good thing is, is that this isn't looted yet, so hopefully, hopefully my vertex will be here. Let me type. I'm actually really surprised that it's this raid's halfway over and this hasn't been hit. Decent grips. Go across hit this one, then I'll backtrack. I think all the ones that I have found have been along this thing right here. I don't think I've... Right over here or by the helicopter, I don't think I've found, it, found one anywhere else. Oh, empty. There was an... What is it? The Aisa? I found an, an Aisa last night. It was in that little box. Check that. Three bodies right here. Might get head popped from that building. Hate on with a run, bro. I'm not gonna hate on finding this kit.
I don't know why you're on 30 mag on this though. A little, seems a little excessive. Imagine this guy might have gotten there it is. I don't know if I'm gonna have to take him out though. I'm gonna use him as a warning. I don't know what it has been with Lighthouse, but I've been getting out of here with like kits after kits after kits. I'll need to hit that guy. Go check by the helicopter. This one and then the helicopter. And I can drop the escape. I've definitely upgraded since then. Vertex runs have been uh, kind of coming up empty, but at least leaving pretty fat, so that's one thing, you know? Last place I'm going to check is going to be right here. Check this. I don't think I can check this side. Uh, need to draw. We need picking up. Let's see what happens. Does anybody like act? Does anybody use these scopes? I never use this scope. Those like permanent four times, I don't use. I think I popped that for other scavs. I think I'm just gonna dip. Kind of. 
All right, never mind. I guess since it's quick, I will stay. All right, well, you're coming directly over. Where are you going to drop that? How much time is left? 15 minutes? That's a lot. That's a late amount of time for there to still be PMCs. very ideal place Did it land already? What's up, DK? How you doing today, man? Where'd he go? Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, screw it. Not too bad. <laughs> what up? too bad i was having a little bit of an up stomach this morning so it did take a little extra commitment from myself to get up and throw the stream on this morning but we're here we're all right i think the gun i think this one's bigger it is not bigger Scare the hell out of me, bro. You can hit the right whatever's remaining of that. <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. It's never good to get off of <laughs> get off of an airdrop, turn around and have somebody lean peeking you out of a doorway. Stand back up so I can finish this run. I think I have Grotto. Yeah. Okay. All right. About to be back on that grind for learning night again. I haven't got any luck yet. <clears throat> Ran one more last night and still didn't find anybody. RFB last wipe used to be like one of my favorite budget guns, but the single single fire just isn't or I should say semi auto guns are just not a as strong this wipe. 
which is unfortunate. I used to, like, as soon as I could afford them, I used to only run SR25s and I avoided them this way. Got to use what's good, you know? Imagine if you were, like, actually in this kind of situation and you saw somebody, like, crawling in the middle of the road for no reason whatsoever. Would, it, would make zero sense. I can do... No, I gotta walk it out from here. I don't know where... I can fall right there. Yeah, like... Just full auto in general. 7.62s. Yeah, baby. You're not taking 20 bucks for school. Mom already told you that yesterday. If you want snacks, then she can take you to the store and you can spend it on snacks, but you're not spending $20 on overpriced snacks at school. Um, dude, all this, all the sevens or, or all the, uh, the full autos are, are really nasty. 762 is extremely strong with the recoil changes. 545 is like a laser beam. Or actually, a 545 is like a Gatling gun. And the MP7 and everything, right? Like that. Those types of SMGs are absolutely uh, laser beams. Light. 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 Okay, well, yeah, turn it off and you can play. Because when you wake up at like 6, 6.30, you can play. Not when you wake up at like 5, 5.30. Five I know, it's because you took a nap early. Okay. I gotta sell a bunch of those of these. I forgot to sell my my attachments and everything. Sell that. the backpack. I'm going to have to sell the backpack. trucks and cars down to two. Just don't have to break these 
down, but I'm going to stack my stuff right now. Night. Gotta get in game, man. I hope you have some good raids. Glad you stopped by. May they be profit who it is. That, uh, I don't know if you guys checked out the, um, interchange video that I just posted and that uh that was a difficult map to kind of go over because it's, everything's inside yeah hopefully it does go better that's what I'm good let me make let me sell some of these real quick before I go in yeah baby Yeah, I'm glad that I'm glad that it uh you still like you still like it. It uh What? I don't know. I haven't played that game in a long time. You got to look for them. You might have to unlock them. <clears throat> that was kind of breaking it down like that was kind of like the only the only way that kind of occurred to me to do it. They uh I was trying to originally write it out like I, would, I did in my other videos, but I was like, this just doesn't work. This isn't working the same for for interchange. And then I rewrote everything. Yeah, I'm so glad you guys like it. Hopefully it helps. Fresh. How much did these sell for? 160? A spawn this morning. Pick up a Spike for your, for your sub. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. It's kind of crazy how like the the videos will get views for like a certain number of days, like a pretty consistent number that will obviously like slowly slowly dwindle like everybody else's and um hey don't twirl your hair you can tell that you twirled your hair um and it'll just stop like literally it'll just fall off of a cliff i don't understand why that is they literally drop down to oh that one was... they literally drop down to nothing give me votes currently on the poll. Lighthouse is actually winning. I was actually... I didn't think Lighthouse was going to be the one that was going to get picked. <laughs> people thought people 
would want to avoid Lighthouse, but I guess at the same time that would mean that people would want the most help on that map as well. side yep hey gun dog thanks for following me man i appreciate it super appreciate it especially because you're on you're on twitch <laughs> everybody on everybody that's been following has been on uh on youtube so i appreciate you where's that music coming from there it goes What's gonna frustrate me the most is um since I've never really cultist hunted, I'm probably gonna spend a little bit looking for them, and then I hope I hope I can just adapt to them on the fly and not have to have a learning curve on this. I don't even know how many cultists usually spawn during their when they are here. Isn't it right here? Okay, here's the cult. Here. Okay. Let's go up to the abandoned village, see if anybody's there. your guide videos on YouTube. Really nice. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm glad you're like I'm glad you're liking the videos. I'm glad you uh you came to hang out. By all means, there is a Discord server if you are interested. It is in the beginning stages, so by no means do you have to feel obligated in any ways to join. But if you want to enter yourself, you know, like into the community extremely early, then there is a Discord server. Hey, hey, what's up, BB? What's up? Um, this is. Technically my second raid, but my first PMC raid. I did a little lighthouse scav, you know, to open up the the aim and just get used to moving around, see how the computer is running, making sure nothing's weird. Um, once again, I got off of lighthouse for the third time in a row with a full kit. Can't hate on that. So this will be the first hunt for cultists of the morning. So. Yesterday didn't get a spawn as far as I know. As far as I know, we didn't get a cult to spawn, but hopefully I'm only looking at like two to three raids right now. You always scav it up first. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, it kind of really just depends. Before, I used to, um, I used to always aim labs for, like, 10, 15 minutes, and then after a little while, I would have been like, all right, well, I'm going to do one or two arena games and get warmed up. Now it's just I'm going to do a scav. <laughs> and then my aim starts to go down a little bit, and then I reset the... I reset back to uh, aim labs and then scav and I was actually I re-downloaded aim labs and they actually have 
a couple of Tarkov settings in there that are supposed to make your aim feel more Tarkov-y. Like you can put on armor, you can put on a helmet. You can simulate the you can simulate the uh, the weight that you would normally have. All right, doesn't look like they're in the woods. Check right here. This side of my extract. Oh, I should bring being over here. I should bring money so that way I can hit vehicle, make these make these searches a little faster. Shooting over at the first base. Yeah, I don't see anything. Oh, unfortunate. Right now, I'm just trying to find cultists. I need cultists for the um, the priest quest. And I've been staring at the quest long enough that it's annoyed me. So now I'm actually going to go. I saw the nade, but I didn't see any movement or running from it. We'll let the scav walk towards him, give us some shooting. There he is. Wait, no, that's a scav too. Wait, why are there nades going off but the scav's moving away from it? Well, the scav's moving right to left as well. Which is weird because the nade went off over here. But that's not why I'm here. Here for cultists. I'd like to find the cultists this morning without having to continue running mornings. So I'm just going to dip. I'll bring money and that'll allow me to... Uh, Stay longer and hit the hit a couple PVPs if I hear them, but I got a long run right now. It's towards lumber mill. Go see if I can insert myself into the fight that's over probably by the abandoned village. Uh, do I have video settings? You mean like post effects or? I haven't done, uh. You feel like you have no vis visibility? Yeah. Um, if you haven't done your post effects, Tarkov naked looks very, very poor. Um. I have mine that helped me a little bit because I'm red green colorblind. I just try to make mine look like. Let's see the difference. Like. Tarkov by itself is just pretty pretty dark so you depending on what it is that you like to see it definitely adds definitely adds a little bit how do i play woods woods is actually the first map that i really i really learned um the group that i was playing with they the first 
loot route that they had learned was the exterior loot route along the wall on interchange and interchange i just i hated that map i hated that loot that loot run it's just none of it was fun to me so woods was actually i was looking at i was looking at map genie and all the maps to see who what map i could kind of string together the best uh loot pathing and woods had the best amount of loot that you could get without even having to go to a danger area like you could fill your bags on loot on woods without going to USEC, without going to the lumber mill without going to medical without going to either of the abandoned villages you can fill your bags <clears throat> i would come in with the biggest bag i can like a black rock inside the bag and i would still be leaving while passing up loot so woods is annoying just because if you don't know where you're at, you're just looking at trees and it's kind of hard to tell where you're at. But once you kind of get your frame of references as far as like what's near you, where you are in relationship to the big the big rock, woods becomes pretty simple. And then if you start doing uh, loot runs with your vehicle extracts, that's when you get... That's when you get woods down extremely extremely easy that and i feel like since it's pretty much through the woods i feel like people take the like pretty common pathing which if you watch the the woods video it's the pathing is honestly pretty pretty spot on to the last like couple engagements that i've had so if you learn the map and you cut through those those areas that are void of those normal travels like kind of just straight across the middle like I did I never run into somebody in the middle all right getting out hitting the hot reset I think map I think woods is the best map for cultists. What map is the best for cultists? Shoreline and woods. I'm not I'm not hunting on uh on shoreline, they're too spread out. That and I think people are gonna just even if you're not there to hunt cultists, I think if they spawn at the resort you're just gonna have people fighting them without even without even wanting to and those are gonna be taking my kills that I need okay. cannot stand having sideways I mess with colorblind settings sometimes. The issue that I have is I don't like the colors that they change them to. So like for me, it makes the most sense that like in a game, greens are going to be friendly, red are going to be enemy. And then sometimes they'll do like yellow or something for like NPCs and other characters in the game. 
My issue is when you go with the colorblind, they change from like the green, the red, the, like, and they, they make them different colors. And I feel like most games don't have like the same exact colors. You let my dog out. You want to go outside? And I feel like most games are slightly different. So I don't like looking at the colors and knowing that I should be expecting a certain color and it's a different color. So that's why I typically don't use colorblind. It messes with my UI. And I'm more annoyed about that than being able to see. I didn't bring money. This would have been a perfect spawn to bring money. Alright, I'm gonna have to... Pop mesh, eh? Yeah, I'm, uh... I'm just used to it, you know? I'm used to playing without using the colorblind filters, but... I think it's more of a, when I was a kid, I kind of got used to it and I just don't want to relearn what I'm used to seeing, but there are probably a lot of times that not necessarily in Tarkov, because if I see something move, I can just shoot it. So it's probably why it doesn't affect me as much on this map or on this game. But um, like if I was playing Valorant or anything like that, and they have like that little hue, like that hue messes me up. Yeah, I'd probably have, if I was still playing like Valorant or something like that, then I'd probably have my, my sen, or my, uh, colorblind dialed in, but it's not as useful, you know? You gotta run for some, you gotta run for some work. No worries, man. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a good rest of your day. I'm actually, just gonna cut through the middle. run into somebody as uh, we get into the woods over here. These spawns could be anywhere right here. shooting. No scavs were taken out at the scav house. Nothing was shot at by the 
road roadblock over here. I always get the most nervous when there's not a lot of shooting. How close do the cultists spawn to their circle? Like, do I have to like hunt them in the in the forest around it, or if I get to the circle, am I pretty much gonna know that there's cults there? I don't see anybody right here, so I'm just gonna continue on. <laughs> Call the bottom one as a no spawn. Hopefully we run into him in the woods. I wonder, uh, was that actually streaming though? I don't hear any follow up shots. If I hear another three round burst, I might flip around. I'm more interested in. Finding my cultists. I think if I don't find them on this one, I'm gonna give it one more, and then from there, I'm gonna have to break it up with something during the day. So far, these night raids are kind of along the lines of what I expected, and it's kind of the reason why I don't run night raids. Okay, so there's, you say, I need to go over more to the left. I need to go into these woods. I don't think there's a way of, do you have a red car? That's cool. I don't think there's a way to no cultists are here without like, seeing them or having one run up to try to stab you or else I would just bring flash nades I don't think those work they need to have like a bonfire that's lit or like an altar or something that just shows you like oh dang like the eyes are glowing or something they must be they must be alive they're so spread out you know you just have to you have no indication of whether they're there or not you just have to run all the way across the map on the left side right over here not looking good for cultists I think it's kind of one of those things that it might be better to just like run night raids and then when you happen upon cultists you happen upon cultists I don't think Specifically going and looking for cultists is uh, going to be the play. That's like four or five that we haven't gotten lucky on. Where's that push at? So if I come over... Oh, I'm over there. Okay, I know where I'm at. 
turn too quickly. Yeah, you know, with when I saw 28%, I was kind of just like, that's actually pretty good, you know? I run I run a couple and uh I'll eventually run into them, but I mean you are also able to get unlucky even with the 28%. Double check and then there's something over there at least. Probably a scav, but it's like the worst area too. Go face check what that was. But I would think that if they were, if it was cultists over here, that they would be. Like they try to hide, but I feel like I would be able to see one or two before I actually started shooting them. Okay. <clears throat> I'll go run a like a street trade or something then. All right. Well, I think I'm about to change my tactics for finding these cultists. Do cultists spawn on streets? It might just I might just have to start running streets if they if they spawn there. Shoreline seems way too boring to be looking for cultists. Customs just, just has the lowest op the lowest uh spawn chance and I think that they would be dead by the time you actually got there. I'm gonna check the streets after this and see if it does. If so, we'll just do that. No, it's just woods and customs and shorelines. Okay. I don't really, I don't really need money runs. So, <laughs> I mean, I can do shoreline, but I think shoreline is gonna be more annoying to run around on to go well i guess shoreline will be better to like have more pvp while i'm looking for cultists because doing it on i have heard that that fact that night factory can spawn them as well but it's like extremely low because woods it's like you can pretty safely get to where it is you need to check and get out without it being like very risky but if the cultists aren't there you're literally just running through the woods which can be very boring Yeah, what, what I'll do is I'll, I'll I'll grab my money so that way I actually have a way to get out and then and then if not I can go through USEC and I can go through the village and then there should be some PvP that'll happen. 
pretty other than finding a couple of textile items another raven i don't really have much that i'm looking for in terms of in terms of ta uh, tasks that i have available to me oh my gosh i forgot I spawned over here We'll go through lumber. They need to fix the the extracts. Woods probably has one, some of the worst. You spawned over here. This is your extract. There needs to be more topside extracts. Sniper scav. I'm gonna go loot lumber in the middle over here. Wait, is this the raid that I may have her sermon? Yeah, I think that was just a little bit ago. Probably not, but there is a chance of serving here. Moonshine, take it. Quick little 400,000. And a raven. A raven. This door closed. I actually didn't even know that door did close. Make some room. Yeah, baby. What are you going to make? What? Yeah, I'm getting waffles. Yeah, that was disturbing. There would be more guards or more bodies up right now. I 
don't understand how there's not a lot of shooting going on, but the two places that I, I checked kind of late are uh, empty. But I wonder if uh, playing at night is going to make... Cause I've, I've had a lot of raids that I feel like have been more empty. I wonder if running at night kind of increases that. Because there's really no way of knowing if you're, like, how many people are in your raid. They should tell you, like, afterwards, like... Like how the last time, like how we were talking about them adding a, like, a kill, like a death log, but... Where you can, like, see how you died, but, like, after the raid is over. In that same kind of scenario, they should, uh... They should include how many people were in that raid that you, you died on let you know like oh there's nine out of 13 possible or something like that as well. We'll drop the regular height. We'll need you. Thank you. Check the ammo. Isn't it? Why hasn't anybody ever checked the ammo that's right here? good early place to get some uh some high tier ammo especially early on in those uh those woods tasks that you come here early if you can get out with a couple boxes of really strong ammo that could put you ahead quite nicely early when other, other people are shooting freaking ps and you're shooting pp or bp You ran some Eagle Nick and some 55A1. Five, five, yeah, that's a good that's a good little spot right there. And I feel like even when the like the buildings are looted and attachment like the actual attachments are taken, I feel like that ammo is still there, so it's still worth checking. I mean a lot of times you're gonna have like US ammo and like stuff you don't need to pick up, but what? Okay, I'll get it right now. You need the syrup? What happened? What happened? Come here. What? Your tooth came out? Where's it at? You okay? Where is it? Is it over here? It's still in your mouth? Oh, it just hurt? Did you try to open it with your, your teeth? You don't do that. That's kind of what, that's what happens. Let me see. Careful with that. You can't be opening stuff with your mouth.
Okay. Ooh. All right. I'm going to replace this. So that way I can bring, we'll say 15,000. I don't have to worry about it. 12,000. CMS, good. What, baby? You can't eat? You can eat, just eat, eat it slowly. Where did that SJ go? There it is. All right, now I got money, so if uh, these runs can go a lot faster now. Oh, wait, I gotta wait until 2200. So I'm gonna go and check for my vertex. Oh no. Oh. No. This is supposed to be a scav. This was supposed to be a scav. Oh, 
to go take somebody out over here by shoreline before. I hate when you click on like a trader to try to open up their what they sell or their tasks or you click on your scab or you click on your PMC and it doesn't like register like it clicks but it like goes back to your your original you know what I'm talking about like I'll always like I'll click on peacekeeper because I want to like buy something from peacekeeper or turn in a task or something and then I'll just be looking at the menu I'm like well, where's what I'm trying to and I'm like why is it still on proper why is it still on therapist I clearly hit scav. Let's see if anybody is rotating back way over here. Doesn't look like it. Probably will at some point, but. Is that actually the only place? It probably didn't help that I had just immediately I immediately went in and pushed ready rather than like going and checking my gear. And then I walked away. <laughs> That's funny. All of that lined up perfectly to end up on my PMC. I'm not sure Fleer's going for right now. Surprised that it's like that second one I has spawned with one. Hmm. Go hit those those vertex spawns, and then by the time we check for vertexes, should be nighttime enough to where we're we'll back to woods. Not too much on there. the timing on the notification and then add the discord one what's up man best place to find lead x's um i always think think one of the most consistent places to find lead x it would be at usec camp on woods um on or underneath the table on the back the back side of it um if you have Sherman's tape key. I have found two Lettuxes in Sherman's room. One on my first time doing it or opening it this way. Um, that's probably my most consistent, but I, I, I find the most at, at Woods, to be honest. Yeah, I have, I found, I found two Lettuxes like a week apart. Both of them were on Woods. And then I found the the two on shoreline kind of spread out. Uh, I'm 
make this bigger. Okay. So, oh yeah, um, yeah, sound charge. Okay. I was thinking about woods. I've been running woods. Yeah, bunk or uh, set camp on the back table right here. A lot of spawns. I found lead X's there that people have missed after the entire table has been cleared out. And I've gone in there like 10, 15, 20 minutes into raid and I still found a lead X. Uh, the one that I found 20 minutes into raid was actually on the table which was even more surprising, but make sure you check the floor. Eager. The corner, okay. Yeah, that's, that's where I would say. The woods one's very is very convenient because whenever I go to do my money runs like early on in raid, like if I'm down on money, it can be so doing it on scavs can be worth it because typically on woods you kind of scav in a little bit later, but On woods, you kind of scav in a little bit later, but there's so much that, like, if you look at my, uh, my loot. He's like right here. I was behind the car. I saw where that landed. Oh, whatever. I'm almost there for my first. Goons, Killa, and Ledex. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't stack those. It would be convenient if you could stack those. Um, early on in raid... Uh, early on in wipe... The... Um, doing that loot, like the woods... My woods runs. Like, I'll just do multiple woods run because... I can go to streets and make more money, but if it's if I'm trying to like build up my money, I don't want to be like burning money on replacing my kids, so I'll typically go to woods and I'll probably be on woods until I have about like two mil and then I'll start kind of going from there. But um, by doing that woods loot run, you're you walk through that lead X spawn and I typically find a couple lead X's just building up my my stash i'll usually i'll usually do pretty much woods loot runs until i'll do scavs the um hit all my vehicle extracts to get my scav rep uh, rep up first so i'll scav rep first scav run in between and then um i pretty much have like two two or three lead x's by the time i have a a uh Junk container, and depending on how many I find, I might even just immediately get my second one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's so easy to make money on. You don't have to put yourself out for tremendous risk. Boom, boom, boom. We're good. Should be nighttime. It is not nighttime. I'm just gonna dump this kit, pick back up right after this next raid is over. Um, you can go 545, that's actually fine. I was gonna go an MP7, but that's fine.
take the we'll take the two times. Boom. I hate how the laser is only on the right side. I want it on my left side. And that one's more. I think this one's expensive, is it not? I'm not paying 130 for a waffle. The basic. I built my entire kit for less than the waffle suppressor. It doesn't make a difference other than where the the laser will be in relation to no mother. So the laser is dead accurate at a certain distance. Before that distance, it's um you're too close for it to be like dead on. I don't like it to be on the right side because I already have a tendency to pull a little too left and if it's on my right, then it just makes it it makes it worse. It has to be on my left so I can I know the laser is sitting on the left side of my gun and the laser is going off from there. If that makes sense. You can come on. had the grip and I already had the other one. Yeah, like, like, watch. Actually, I don't even know if my laser is on the correct side, so you'll actually be able to see. See, like, right now, my, my laser is on the right-hand side. 
and the way that it comes like it comes off like i want it i want to pull more left than because really if you look at the laser like there's a certain distance is my keybind for that so look at you see how they come off at like this is way straighter to me it's just way it's way straighter and i want i want the laser to be I, i'm okay with being a little left so if i'm like this i'm fine i don't want to be on the left on um, that, that, that's why i hope that little example made sense Good. Wait, they can be on top of each other? I did that. Okay. Alright, there we go. Little like little things that you can do to like micro micro adjust your gameplay, like helps you so much. Like there's no point in running a scope you don't like. This right here, I'm never gonna run that scope. Just because I have it, doesn't mean I'm throwing it on anything. Even when like wipe starts, I'll I'll sell it and get a a red dot or a hollow or something. Like don't run something that's not gonna that's not gonna benefit you. Like for me, a lot of people use the Valde, they use the, um, it's like almost there. We'll run that back. Um, a lot of people run the Valde, they run the Elcon, they run the, uh, the Elcan, I mean, the Spectre, like, I don't like the scope. I don't like the way it moves around. I just, I can't hit my shots as well on those as I can on a, a traditional scope. Um, and they sell for 80 grand, 100 grand, 120 grand. Like, I'm just gonna sell it and I'm gonna run a Razor. I'm gonna run a TAC-30. I'm gonna uh, a Voodoo, like. Yes, I, I'll see some people pretty like level 15, level 20 running like decent armor or like decent armor, decent like a decent kit. And then they just have like, they went cheap on the scope or it has no, it has no grip. Like dude, little things, little things. That's what, that's why I run so many like money runs early because I want to have the money to go in with the best kit I want to go in with. And it's it's not the end of the world. Out of your mouth. Yeah, it's always better to spend a little, a little bit more. A little bit more on ammo, a little bit more on your scope. Like, run what you're comfortable. Like, I have a few... I have a... I have a few guns from a few different calibers that I bounce between, but like be comfortable with what you like, what you know. There's a lot of guns I'm not good with. I, do, I just not not used to them. I'm not used to the rate of fire on the HK. I don't run the HK enough. I know it's really strong. But it's it's recoil always catches me by uh Well now it doesn't catch me by surprise. But I under I'm like okay, I'm gonna be ready for it this time. And then I try to adjust and I'm like, I'm still just pulling pulling up. I have to run it for a little while to get used to it. Good. 
I guess I can check the first spot, which is right up. Uh... All right, since I'm all the way at the. All right, since that flare just popped and because I'm all the way at the bottom, I am going to check the helicopter first, then I'll check the bus. I haven't found a vertex in either of those locations in a, quite a while, but I do need to, so. I don't like the, uh, the HP, to be honest. Love the M4. I, I love the M4. Yeah, they did make it harder to get, uh, get into 556, five, but I pretty much tried to buy, uh, the 56A1 on, or the, the 55, five, is it 55A1 five, or the 5 6 a one that you could buy from them. Either way, I try to buy that on cooldown. I've been... I don't know if they changed the spawns over here, but... I haven't been finding anything by the... I haven't been finding anything over here uh, lately. You haven't played this map like at all? Could have also been a bait. Uh, I think it's it, it might be five six eight one. And then I, I'm pretty much. I actually got to turn my hide app back on so that way I can start those crafts back up. But I'm pretty much exclusively making five five six ammo at the moment just so I can keep it going. I pretty much like. I try to hit all the traders on reset. I try to hit mechanic so that way I have full metal jacket for like MP7s. And essentially I just stack ammo until I get through my particular caliber that I feel like running at that time, whether it's an M4, a TX-15, um, whatever. Uh, and then I'll switch to like an MP7 and then I'll go do that. Your second wipe? Nice. Um, the best way to get into these, get into like other maps and kind of exploring is, uh, one, using Map Genie, two, watching my videos, and, uh, three is scaving. I pretty much, that's how I learned, that's actually how I learned streets. I knew that, I, I hated streets, hated it. I was, there is no, there's no frame of reference to where you're at. Like all the buildings look the same when you don't know how to tell the difference. Where's that plane at? When you don't know how to tell the difference. So it's... It's a hard map. I hated it. Started scaving it because I knew that they were... Um, it was a money-making map. And sure enough... I kind of started getting used to it. Started getting... Because what happens is you run into it like... You'll be lost not knowing anywhere where you're at. You'll get into an engagement. And you'll die and you'll be frustrated. You won't gain anything from that. But the next time you're going to be exploring and you're going to be like, OK, I'm going to go through this building and like you're going to get you're going to learn this building and then you're going to go out the back entrance and you're going to walk into that alley that you just had that experience a little bit ago. And all of a sudden those puzzle pieces fit together and you're like, oh, OK, I remember everything about that that fight. I just didn't know where we were at. That's where we were at. OK, so I know where that's at. And then you just slowly start putting it together. That's how I pretty much learned every map. It's how I learned reserve. It's how I learned streets. Lighthouse is frustrating though. You watch the uh, reserve video? Nice. Glad it helped. Yeah, a lot of it's just knowing where where you're at and how everything kind of connects and moves around together. Lighthouse just has a lot of extra bullshit that comes with it for no reason. Hey, go put some socks on. Go put socks on.
<laughs> yeah, screw lighthouse. Still can't get past the rogues. Um, the easiest way to, to clear out the rogues is if you go through the top side, like the back back way, all the way around, and then you start at building two. Start at that building. Um, you can take out that one from the rocks. You can take out that one extremely easy. And then from there, you can take out the one on the back side right there extremely easy. And then you just go up on top of building two, clear out the rope. Oh, fuck. Uh, is that a rope? Uh, super simple. If you go back into, uh, I think my VODs are there for those. Uh, if you go back into the VODs where I was, where I was running, um, running Lighthouse not too long ago. I think it was like two or, th I think it was like two or three days ago. I, um, uh, was clearing out the rogues because I needed to do the water treatment kills. Yeah, you just get used to it. It's pre it's predictable BS though. It is BS. You are right. And it can it can be annoying, but it's predictable BS and you just get used to it and then it's pretty easy to manage. Like I can take out all the top rogues pretty consistently by just going to building building 2. Like it's not it's not even doing anything ridiculous it's just those angles are a lot easier to kill them and they don't shoot you as as easily from up there yeah you try you tried emulating it but you died um yeah you just have to be uh tight to your corners so that way you're not like overexposing yourself and you never you never peek out twice. Like, if you survive them shooting at you once, you got lucky. Um, you got lucky. If you repeat, you will 100% get laser beam. Have a lot of tasks on Lighthouse, probably have to play Lighthouse and just deal with the paint. Yeah, it's... It's better to just get it over with, honestly. I, uh, I kind of did that. And then all I had was, <laughs> and then all I had was lighthouse quests and then it was even more of a pain. So I had to do, I still have lighthouse quests, actually. I still have to kill, I still have to kill bears and, or, yeah, yeah I still have to kill bears. So, I'm just taking a break. I will eventually go back to, uh, oh wait, 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 where's that? I mean, I'm happy to find it, but not what I needed. Yeah, I exhausted all my, uh, all my fun quests. Now I just got, oh shit, quests. And that's when it's the most annoying when you have... Uh, no, I'm gonna go, at, I'm already at night time. I'm gonna go hit a night raid. Oh, that was... I 
she was wrong about the timing on that. One of my cars might be stuck here. I think they're re she, my wife said they're repaving the street, but it doesn't make sense because they they just repaved it like not too long ago. Down, dude. Stay in there. Gonna focus on those quests next wipe, I guess. Maybe learn the map as I mean, yeah, just uh if you know like especially like when you're learning, like just like have fun, just learn, and then like set yourself up for next wipe. Like that's what I'm trying to do with like the YouTube videos and everything, is I'm trying to build my community up enough to where hopefully I can be somewhat close at least to doing it full time like do the same thing like you want to you want to know all the maps and you want to know like where all the best loot spots are and come in next wipe like super strong like you can do that let me check outside real quick Does say no parking, but I don't see anything going on yet. So we're kind of like down in the middle of the street. So I think uh, if I hear anything, I have, I'll have time to run out there and move the car. job my man on the videos yeah appreciate it man yeah I mean the good thing about then I'll be sucking your thumb um, the good thing about smaller communities is it's like you recognize all the you recognize all the names that are that consistently come back and that are chatting in your in your lives chatting in your, your comments on videos um, it's way more personable you know it's like it's harder when people get like thousands of people and it's like hard to be on like a, a name basis with everybody but you still recognize a lot of the same but it's like it's symbiotic symbi is it symbiotic or symbiotic it's like a symbiotic relationship though because those like you need to have a close like a close community, especially when you're first starting, because I mean, when people come and they join, like, especially with low viewers, like it's a lot harder to like, it's way harder to stream. What, do you wanna go back outside? get all that syrup up uh, it's way harder to stream when like nobody's nobody's talking and you're kind of just playing like you need to have conversation so those people that actually want to watch you and hang out and just vibe especially early those are your, those are your most important without a doubt because then you end up with one, you end up with two, you know, eventually you start, you start adding those one plus one plus one. Hey, baby. I forgot they're working on the street, so I had to park in a car. Okay. Are they already working up there? Yeah, like a whole street, so 
Okay. 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 Uh, yeah. Make sure they're dressed and Okay, I'll, I'll, yeah. Okay. Alright, baby. Love you. I didn't bring my night vision. Wait. I didn't bring my night vision. I'm an idiot. I forgot I had a bag already set up. All right. Sec. See, even in pitch black, frame of reference, and I knew exactly where I was at. Just a second. They're not down here yet. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, let's just do that. They're getting ready right now. Well, Maddie is. Love you, bye. I'm just gonna look for the fight since I'm what you need someone to do your hair okay give me a second are you is everything else done did you brush your did you brush your teeth you did you have socks on what's with you and sandals times at night people just don't even come to you sec one in a pony towel okay Hi, Mama. Love you. Okay. 
Maddie, I have you. I have waffles for you in the. Oh really? Well, did it go good? Well, that means if she had, we'll have a good word. Cool. All right, let's go get night vision. Okay, make sure she doesn't do that. night vision to know my route. Both of those have been useless so far. Oh yeah. Forgot I don't go to this one over here. Actually I can go to the first one. I can't go I can't go down the same way. They just silently they just silently added um, extra landmines to woods without saying anything. Like, there was no patch notes on it, there was nothing. The outskirts, right? Yep. Uh, what phase am I currently streaming? Currently, I am streaming pretty much every day at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, but I do have two. I have a full time job, like a regular job, and then I have a like a company, like a business that I run. Like I do dumpsters and hauling and stuff like that for trash. And there are times that I get calls for that in the morning, but any morning that don't go that way anymore. You used, to be, you used to be able to run down this way and just continue along. Don't go this way. You gotta like go back out and around. They added landmines there for whatever reason. So you kind of have to like cross over here now. I haven't like really experimented to see how far out they go to see how close you can cut that. But just come out and around this, this bush and you're fine. Um, so like... I'll, I'm streaming today, obviously. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. Sunday, Monday, I, uh, at my regular job, I bell. So I open to close 8.30 to 8. So um, there's a small chance that I still wake up and, and stream at 6, but I may want the, the additional rest to um, make it through my, uh, my bell day because they just... They feel like they take forever. You're literally there all day. Um, so as long as one of those two things doesn't interfere with uh, my morning, then I will essentially be on. Some of those uh, morning, like this one's a little bit longer, but tomorrow, um, no, actually tomorrow will be the same as well. Like, there's days that I open, and then streams will only be, like, an hour and a half. So they'll start at 6.30 and at 7.30, because I have to get ready to be... It takes me 30 minutes to get ready, and then... Cool. That's how long I give myself, is 30 minutes. And then it takes me about 30 minutes to get there. So that's why I'm going so hard on the YouTube videos. Who does? Okay. Uh, that's why I'm going so hard on the YouTube, because... 
hate my work schedule. I want to just make videos. That'd be that would be so tight to just make videos. It went from being a chore to actually enjoy it now. A thing that I've noticed though, like when I have like those bell days and I'm not able to like put in like work, like Sunday, Monday, I'm not gonna be able to put any work into the, the interchange spawn guide. I just won't have time. So like the next like Tuesday when I finally get time, like it's hard to like get everything flowing again. I want to like not have those big breaks in between. They're annoying. Yeah, definitely. Hope uh, hope to be seeing your name around, man. Anybody that's interested, do have a Discord server. Just like the just like the streams, they are in the beginning stages. Not not a ton of people, but anybody that wants to join, happy to have you. Okay, let me throw let me throw my kit back on. Yeah, work sucks. Like everything's just so crazy expensive now. It's it's a struggle now. But one day at a time. Yeah. Um it just seems like no matter what, it's just bill after bill after bill. Oh. I don't know if anybody's tried this uh, Rally Clash mobile game. Um, it's a racing, like a rally racing game. It is fun. It is actually one of the few racing games that uh, I think are actually pretty decent on on phone. Gotta start selling some stuff. Yeah, it's hard over here. Oh, your EU. Yeah, everything's so expensive over here. Makes sense that your EU. My uh, the first. Bye, baby. I love you. The first time I streamed, uh, I streamed early as well, and those uh. Those streams, I had a lot of EU people just because of the time. It's later, obviously later in the day for you than it is here. It makes more sense. Actually, I'm an idiot. That's good to know. I seem to do this. Right. Keep the same gun. Almost dinner time? Damn. Well, you can talk to somebody literally that far away. Think about the time that, like, if you wanted to send a letter, somebody would have to ride a horse across however distance you wanted it to get there. Like everybody that you knew lived close because it would be days traveled to get like anywhere meaningful. 
Like it takes days to drive across the United States. Like imagine walking a horse that far. Do you guys do a uh, daylight savings time or is that just some stupid ass thing that we do? So thankful for autocorrect. Just a few years ago, my parents hadn't seen their siblings for decades, but with FaceTime, that's awesome. It's cool for older people too, because a lot of times they, they're just not used to technology. It'll take about two hours to cross my country with a car. <laughs> yeah, I've been I've I've been seeing those like TikToks of like the guy that's talking about the comparisons and size. Over by Scav House, I do believe. All right, so that's the raw. This corner, I always get confused on like which, what way is up. Always end up like wanting to run out of bounds over there. Like all right over here, and then like even on that side of the outskirts spawn as well. Silhouettes moving around. Possible that I got the rock spawn up here. In the Netherlands? I had somebody that I used to work with that uh, was from the Netherlands. That's cool. He was kind of a nice guy. Also kind of a dick. I thought the second time he worked with us and then left and then came back. The first time I worked with him, I thought he was a dick. The second time I worked with him, I actually thought he was nice. I liked him. Risk it. We'll take it. Hear that out. Dutch people can be dicks, yeah. Everybody can be dicks. Some 5-6, and there's some JSP. We'll take both of them. Pretty sure that was a scav, but I'll check to make sure. Okay. 
Nothing moving. Okay, nothing so far. So I'm moving, I got excited. doesn't mean we're completely out of luck let's go check uh go check up here i got money so if we need to get out we can just go you need to get dinner ready to go and do something for your mom thanks man thanks for hanging out hope you have a good evening hope to see you around A little bit of shooting, not a lot though. And I didn't really run into an engagement where I was expecting to run into an engagement, and I was pretty aggressive about my pathing right there. I don't know if I saw a head or if that was just like the top of a bush or a tree that I saw disappear behind the the hill as I moved up. We took vehicle. No, vehicle should be up by the time I get, I get there. I wonder what the chances are of me walking past the cultisaur. I wonder if they will attack me, like, if I enter anywhere close, or can I, like, miss them? This experience makes this difficult to know exactly what I need to do. All right, I think I made it through the woods without a spawn, so I guess I'll come over here and check. the river or lake I 
No movement. I'll go check the, the little tower up there and see. Yeah, I don't even see anything. Yeah, I was walking around there. Can't walk out of there when you're leaning. All right, go hit vehicle. Oh man, cultist, cultist, cultist. I need this quest completed so that way I can complete the marked room quest on streets. This is the first one. Wonder how long it takes like Pestley and Landmark if when they just go cultist hunting. I think it wouldn't take them this long to get <laughs> to get cultists. I don't think anybody's here. Do one more. One last raid, one last attempt. Gotta collect my rewards and rally clap.
good. Get rid of that. Good. last attempt last attempt You play the game with the people that write in the rules Ain't the fame that I'm after when paying the dues I've been through the pain that's reflected in the attitude Might be winning now, but the thing is that I had to lose So go and tell me what you really want to do And lonely at the top, cause there ain't a lot of room Ain't no other option, it's all I ever knew So I'ma get it poppin', you know how I'ma do I've been down through the blood and the sweat Guarantee you can know I'm a threat I've been down through the blood You suck.
Oh, actually, no. This is not where I think when I was thinking I was. Well, I mean, that's funny. Still go you sick, though. Check you. I want to check the table before they do. Ooh. He was through the fucking. That was a good angle. Hard to see that, see through that little mesh with the the night vision. GG. Get quads in too. Yeah, next time I go, it's worth the additional like six hundred dollars to do the um the quads. I was hoping that those wouldn't be that much of a difference, but when you actually downgrade and you go from the quads to that one, it's it is quite noticeable. Is what it is. Just throw that kid on. You just got your moon your moonshine station. It does help a lot. We're gonna go do that right now. just buy my I always just buy them all I I pretty much sell all my attachments and anything uh Anything Peacekeeper will take, I will pretty much, I will pretty much sell to him. Certain things I'll sell, but for the most part, everything goes to Peacekeeper. Because 
as long as I have funds to replace it, doesn't matter. That's my philosophy. As long as I can be, as long as I can replace it, then I don't have an issue. Bring one more. Sure, and seeing these. Yeah, I'm sure, and seeing those probably during this raid. Who are some people that? Who are some of the streamers that you that you uh, that you watch? Like who's your, who's, who's mostly your go-to? If you, uh, I watch a lot of, uh, I watch a lot of milk, like I'll, I, I watch Landmark and I watch Pestileve. Trey, Hutch, but I feel like I watch a lot of like middle middle streamers just because uh, I want to see kind of how their streams how their streams are. I mean, people are talking compared to like towards mine, you know. Hey, baby. Yeah. Here you go, back in. It cuts it out. Yeah, baby. Wait a moment. What? None. Every ten lines of chat, twenty minutes, boom. We'll increase that to five. Max that better. Just day by day, I'm trying to add. The only Tarkov streamer you watch? Well, appreciate that. I'm trying, I, I try to look at everybody's content, everybody's stuff, and I try to see one thing that is clean or better than mine or that I just, I enjoy, and I'm trying to add it. Always comes through the sun, right? I'm gonna look at Cultus immediately. Could have the spawn that's up there.
doesn't look like cultist. Let's go into the woods. The moon's way better with the quad nods too. Still bright, but it's like blinding with those other ones. Yo, what up, positive? How's your morning, afternoon, evening going? Maybe not. Chilling, drinking coffee. Going pretty good. Haven't had any luck again finding cultists, but uh, going pretty solid. For me right now, cultists are like myths. Kind of like the rusty key. I'm under the assumption and fully believe that everybody from Nikita to you is in on the bloody key that it's not actually a thing and I just keep searching at it and it's a big inside joke for everybody because I have never seen the rusty the rusty key one time I don't even have a friend that's found it Doesn't look like we got cultists again. Yeah, all the way through. And I'll run through here deeper a little bit just in case. You found it three days ago. You got to make sure you guys uh, go in there and do that quest together. So that way you can get the key. I believe the reward for completing the quest is the key. So the best thing to do is have your buddy let you in and then you could let somebody in. Yeah, if I found... <laughs> If I spawned in and I found it, I would uh, immediately leave. I don't think... Like a bus? Bus horn just went on outside. No, my wife moved the truck. Okay, well, both trucks are moved. Yeah, I'm under the assumption that key doesn't doesn't spawn in in my raids. Kind of like cultists. I 
I have a lot easier of a time finding like certain things that trouble like that people get stuck on early like gas analyzers. I find gas analyzers early. I find typically flash drives early. GPU I can find early like there's just certain things I can't find. I can't find that key. I can't find cultists. I can't find um Oh, is that one quest? Uh, I can't find the A F H one stem. Can never find that stem. Saw somebody walk over there. Sanitar is never there. You finished it on your scav? Nice. Yeah, I'm hoping to, to get lucky on... on my scav, but, uh... haven't gotten anything yet. Another good, uh... I like scavenging on streets because I can go and hit that little... like, stim room. Sometimes you get lucky and there will be, like, four or five in there. Usually, though, there's, like, one or two. No cultists again. Come down here and check attachment though. I'm gonna ping so high. Two in a row. I like the uh, I like the shoreline changes that they did. I think they made uh, some really good changes. They broke up like a big portion of the map that usually has uh, sight lines from like really far away, but now they're, there's a lot of change of elevation that you can like hide behind, behind, rotate behind. All those things make a difference. I like the little farm area that they made out there, but they don't have enough like they don't have enough scavs that spawn up there. There should be a sniper scav over there. Hold the jacket. Hold the jacket. Like a couple of tweaks to uh, shoreline, and shoreline would be a really good map. They need to add more more loot in the like the village that's all the way to the left like kind of next to sandy's house that whole village needs to have like better better spawns in it like valuable spawns on the floor inside the like inside the rooms because like like pesley brought up during that in that interview with nikita um i feel like i heard steps Uh, streets is like really good for loot and I know the interchange used to be really good that was that was way further than like or way before I started playing so I didn't really get to experience like the Kiba high days the Emercom high days like that wasn't for me um, but I like I mean I like the idea of like more maps having the ability to like get loot you don't want to be like pigeonholed into certain maps you know what I mean um t tips for punisher part four um yeah i i think the biggest thing with uh with punisher is i would get the scavs first so where you find a lot of scavs is gonna be What I would pretty much do, 
since you're just running shotguns and it, if they're not really expensive, you don't really need to like kit them out or anything. Um, lighthouse. Does it be with a headshot? No. Yeah, just 12 gauge. Uh, stay along the long road and then bounce between these two. Just bounce between these two for scavs and then after you've like cleared them out for like the first initial wave, you can either decide to get out or from there, look down the long road and travel this area and see if, uh, so you can kind of like make like a circle right here and you'll get, you'll get your scavs. Um, another, another cheeky thing to do is if you hang out like right here, everybody, most people that come from this bottom side that are going up, they typically pass through here. Not a lot of people go down and then take the road. You can, but I feel like just as many people take the hills up here. So you can get a lot of shotgun kills right here with both player scavs running through. Um, you can hear the scavs that spawn down here and then run down and go kill them and then come back up. Very cheeky place to get rid of, uh, to get shotgun kills. Plus when you need to get the chalet uh, scab kills, that's another really good place to get them is right here. And then for your PMC kills is just put on a scav vest um, and take a um, an aggressive a aggressive pathing towards your your nearest spawns. Knowing where your your spawns are at makes like makes it. Oh no, it's right there. Okay, um, makes it a lot easier because I haven't been getting as many of them. Like, I feel like the map's been a little bit more dead. So it, lighthouse quests are way easier to get done. So are shoreline quests, like, earlier in the wipe when, like, people are still, like, heavily on the map. But attack your spawns early, and that's what I would do. Like, you can get... If you get the top spawn up here, you take... You hope for the fight between these two spawns. If this if this fight isn't here, you come and check over here, so that way you can get eyes on anybody that's going to be doing a late rotation through the village up to the backside to go to water treatment. Um, after that, if you want to, you can reverse push in, and then it is it's always more dangerous going through this little cubby right here. Um, this is probably your most likely chance to die if you kind of try to push in, but um, then you're able to kind of move through here, and then you're just back to flipping between these two. If you spawn down here, you want to take whatever your closest fight is. If you spawn over here in the woods um, by the like the older boathouse thing, um, you're gonna if this spawn runs up, you're gonna have a fight like right here at the corner. So by the time you get like right here, you can kind of wait on it, or you can try to get the the angle first, so that way you're the one peeking. Uh, if you spawn right here, you can run north and take that fight. Or what I like to do is I like to run to the south right here and get up on either these hills or these two, either the rocks or right here where the trees are, and um, take whatever whatever fight this guy is going to be coming road through into. You essentially just want to abuse the hell out of the spawns on Lighthouse. If you get the bottom one over here, instead of running up on these and getting sniped because everybody knows about it, um, I like to come up along the top and then look down and see where anybody's anybody is at if you see that you're late and they're go already moving to the right because pretty much anyone that spawns down here immediately wants to get north so they're not like going to get shot at um if you move if you see them kind of moving you kind of parallel them right here and then you typically can see them if they're right here if they go all the way around then you're you're kind of you're kind of screwed you just kind of hope for fast uh fast engagements and if there's no fast engagement um just move on hit a hit a reset and just keep going i'll have music on. in my opinion they already nerfed streets loot a bunch i don't know man i found quite a few bitcoins moonshines um as long as you're hitting like you're pretty much like three to four main areas like you're gonna make money on on streets need to try shoreline again yeah i mean shoreline is a task map or a um uh, a key a key run like if you're not going to go in there with like a key ring full of keys like it's not it's not worth it in my opinion
I'll go right there. Do, do, do. The PMCs are hard to find. Yeah, um, just try to take your your uh, your initial engagements and then stay near resort. You'll get you'll find people near resort. All else fails, just run around, shoot out some windows every now and then to let people know that you're there. Somebody will be curious enough to to, to come in. Okay, I'm not gonna do another. I'm gonna tap out for a little bit on on the um, the cultist spawns. I just need to go get some valuables. Good, good beat. And honestly, sitting up in that little cubby, you can get a lot of your shotgun kills on uh, PMCs as well. So if you if you stacked, uh, I waited till I. I, uh, I stacked a couple shotgun quests and then I went and took care of it. Oh wait, I can do gunsmith. Gunsmith should be back. I know I'm also I'm also quest locked because I haven't done any of my any of my uh, gunsmith gunsmith part nine. Part nine. There's still a lot of money on streets, but it's like a third of what it was at its be. Uh, I mean, yeah, they probably cut it back, but probably because they um, probably because it was re it was by it was by far the best. durability what is miss what is missing let me flip something so i got tbl yeah that's the correct one none was it because i had the wrong mag in there So particular. Okay. What is going on? Okay. Let's have sixty durability. That's a hundred. 610 recoil. Okay. 
80 ergonomics. It's missing one ergonomic. Why is it missing one ergonomic? I think it's a pistol grip. I mean, that's 80. It's not the same pistol grip, but it's at 80 now. Um, I like when the loot is not literally everywhere, so you get to fight over who gets the full. Most of the juicy of this loot is going to be like near check and like the apartments. Lexos. Okay, dude, why? this one. What was I clicking on the wrong one? I was clicking on the wrong one. Okay. It's tripped. At least it was my stupidity and not, not the game. some room for these mods so I'm not having to deal with it every single time. Clear out some space. I sell every I don't I don't even look to see what it's at. I sell Gingies for 50k. That is what they go for. Next one. AK-105. I think I literally just sold. Sold the one that it wants to put on there. Prism 2.5, AK-100,
should be everything. <laughs> Dude, I'm an idiot. Why? Oh, maybe the ammo? I know sometimes I can... I can throw it off. Yep. Alright, the vector. I just want to go until I know it's gonna get locked again by. Is there a difference between the two? It's a block. That one. S 150. Yep. I, I need. There you go. Carbine vector. Defiance RS. Yep. None. None. Defiance front sight. Yep. Osprey. None. 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 Um, six inch barrel. Osprey. No, 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 no. That's correct. That's correct. Now I just put the. I want those two. I don't know. Hmm, guess not. Go ahead and sell everything. Got to keep ourselves funded. All right, what was that buying? That one. On the screen. Yes. MPX Gen One. No mag. Yeah, times two or S. None gen. Why does that look different? Gen one front sight. Two oh three. This needs to be an annihilator. Back two. Leave that there, leave that there. None, no, good. And then 
should be it. I always wait way too long to do my gunsmith tasks. Thirteen. Arthat. All right, this is the last one I can do. Look at my Arsas. I think I can. ST1. Gen 2, Bolt A2, 22 inch barrel, Arthas, Pack, MRS. Let's Hybrid, boom, six, done, 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 boom, and there it is. All right. Yeah, with that. Crap. What do you guys think of this new scope? The one that comes with the SIG? I personally do not like it. I don't like, I don't like, I figured I don't like dots. I need to have, I need the cross member from like the regular, a regular scope. streets mm. I have my Lexus key I have security key my iron gate key's almost out. Place that. Okay. I 
They should put cultists on the streets. That would be tight. Alright, so I'm quest locked on part 13. How many more parts will I have tomorrow? Alright, I'm four, one. What is that? Oh, Val. Okay. Alright, and then I'll get then I get network provider. Okay. So I can actually I'm actually gonna be able to start the the um lighthouse quest. I didn't think I was going to this. Um actually no, I think I need I need to do my Tarkov shooter quest. But I'll have it far enough far enough unlocked to where I might I might go do that. DVL AK-102. It was like four or five. And then AKMN. Always put off my, uh, my gunsmith quest to, like, wait till too late, and then... And then I have to go through and I get annoyed that I run into these day locks. Right. I don't understand the I don't understand the reason why they they time gate certain quests like I don't think you should be worried about anybody that wants to know life your game and just burn through it like if Landmark wants to get through all of the gunsmiths, like, immediately, let him. Put in other quests. Make it more dynamic to where, like, it's not just, like, oh, well, if he burns through this, he's going to have this, this, and this. Like, just change it up, you know? Like, I feel like I could... I'm sure everyone feels, feels this way, but, dude, I could come up with some... I can come up with some more quests for these for these maps that like doesn't require like coding and well there's gonna be some coding but like you know, redesigning the map area or building something like no just utilize the areas that are there and give people more reasons to go to these parts of the map later like give people reason to go to shoreline later give people reason to go to lighthouse and not just be at like the top give them reason to go to shoreline and go out into the the farm like there's a lot of area like the abandoned village on shoreline specifically the abandoned village area over there and that town there's not a lot of reasons to go there so it's and especially how they changed it up like that loot over in the uh that farm is really good like really good Just mix it up give people reasons to go places I don't really think of a reason of going through the little village. There's really not. Hey, someone joined the Discord. Oh yeah, we're on streets. All right, let's go look and see if that uh that bulb room spawn over there. It's the only place I got on shoreline. Yeah. Let's go. 
we'll go through. Ooh, we'll through over here. Actually, I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna hit the building. I was gonna hit the building that's right here, but I'm gonna get over towards uh. I wonder what they're doing with the street. They literally had just done it one like a few weeks ago. Watch out for underneath over there. I can hear the sniper scab above me. See if I can make it across. Is this a tier six? No. have I don't know what heavy piece of I don't know what piece of equipment that is but it is extremely loud outside right now I can't hear anything Scab outside. Oops, what you got? hit the iron gates and then I'll go underneath. I 
feel like these aren't these iron room keys aren't as good anymore. I haven't found anything decent in them for a little while. I was about to say that would have been three for three on bitcoins. Let's continue on. Yeah, it's all right. Gotten, uh, I'm two for three on bitcoins now, though. Are my extracts? I gotta go up. All right, let's go up then. I'll go through apartments. Dude was trying to hold an angle on me. building or next to the building might have been second or third story yeah you were probably in that building weren't you you were sniping as I try to close the door. Dude, James, good shot. Hope you were legit. All right. I don't really have anywhere I need to go. What map would you guys like to see? Anything, any requests before I kid out? Yeah, pretty, pretty open to maps right now, so if someone wants to make a request. If not, then I'll probably, I can run streets again or I can uh, reserve. Actually, I think I have no one says anything, I might have to go work on Reserve Loot Run. Reason Ground Zero is actually a really good map. I actually uh actually like Ground Zero. I do need a vertex though, I can do a I can do a a, a reserve. Check the king building.
Oh, I don't have... I don't have a pre-built? I don't think I have a, I don't have mags for it though. That feels good. Laser beam as always. So why not? You don't hear the music? I have music going right now. Is it literally just me talking and the game audio that you're not, you're not hearing any music? Anybody else not hear music? Even my OBS is, is I can see the audio bump up each every time the beat hits. I get I get I get music when I uh, go through the stream. I don't know. I don't know why that's happening, my man. Oh yeah, yeah. I just have background music. My uh, my vods were getting uh, were getting copyrighted, so I wanted just to have a little a few of them out there, so. 
things to show up. Let me see. Manage videos. I was just trying to avoid copyright. I pretty much every time I streamed, I got hit with the copyright. These ones say copyright, but oh yeah, those are yeah, those are music that I was listening to. Yeah, all these ones are still are still copyrighted. Visibility. Oh, it's only blocked in. Okay, it's actually only blocked in pretty much the Middle East. Those are all Middle East countries. I don't know. I gotta. I'm still very new to like copyrights and stuff, so like I I have to find out like what I'm allowed to watch. Okay, okay, so this stream had copyright from pretty much every song that I listened to. Lose Control Live is surprisingly... Video cannot be seen or monetized, blocked in some... Oh, that's only in Russia. I guess I can, I, I guess I can really listen to music. The only places that it says that it's blocked is uh, either the Middle East or Russia. And I doubt I have any Russian viewers. No, it's a uh, it's a copyright. Like one of my videos is globally blocked because it. Uh... No, because I watched an Animal Planet video. Yeah, whatever channel I was using, they have a global block, and I can't watch anything that they do, at least live. Is he? Scared the hell out of me. Yeah, they don't. One on one. They don't play on those animals, man. And I was trying to like, you know, like... Help out, you know? Watching how cool the videos were. Yeah, that one. So I found... I found out like... It was either later the same day, or later on, um... Like by a couple of days. When I checked the, um, when I checked the, uh, the reason for the copyright, they have a global block on everything. You can't do anything that involves their, their videos. Actions already underneath. Go over to the king building. Actually, I'm gonna go check my uh, graphics card room. I found most of my graphics cards in this building.
saw the door, but I didn't see him laying prone. I did it too quick of a scan. How far did he hear me to be already prone? Oh, that was the, um, that was that close spawn. That was the, the parking lot spawn. I was thinking maybe he moved across to that shooting that I heard. I hit him four times. The scav, I hit him one time. Of all the companies, Animal Planet. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know what it has to do with Animal Planet, but it cut off for a good like five minutes of video. And the crazy thing is, is the entire video is blocked. Not the five minutes of. It's not just five minutes of black, and then the stream continues. The entire eight-hour vod, which was my first eight-hour stream, because all my other streams were like the early morning streams. Um. <laughs> The entire video is blocked. Globally. Oh, you know why? Because it's Disney. Yeah, because Disney owns it. Disney just hates happiness. <laughs> they just hate ha they just hate happiness. That's all it is. save it last time. Mr. Krabs has money. Money, 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 money. But I let, I let a streamer watch it. I mean, if a streamer watches it, you know, somebody might be like, oh, you know, that was, I was earlier, that guy was watching Animal Planet videos, that was tight. I'm gonna go check it out. But no. Like I might be making money off of it. <laughs> oh, I do have an MP. Oh, uh, it just didn't pop up earlier. Okay. GSP raid. Nades and I'm good.
Yeah. I got to I got to learn about copyright, what I'm allowed to get away with, what I'm not allowed to get away with. Um I went back to Adobe so that way I could I need to make my thumbnails better and I think there's way more videos out there on how to use Adobe Premiere or uh, Photoshop so I reactivated my Photoshop what's the what's the John, John Wick challenge actual in-game achievement. Maybe if I'm gonna run. I wanna eventually do a, um, hopefully next wipe, like a, a, a hardcore challenge. I think they're pretty much all the same. Yeah, you can only use secure caner for items you have that you brought into raid. No flea market. What? No healing in raid? But I don't think that's actually a thing, is it? You cannot buy anything from traders with money. Yep. Money is only be used to repair. Um, no insurance is allowed. Keys, docks, keyboard, wallet, and container only. Yep. You can barter for with traders. No maps. No maps. I'm talking about maps. Like the end game map, or is it saying like you're just not allowed to use like a next? I don't understand what that means. You can sell extra gear to level traders, but money must be deleted. Tasks are for a game. Scav mode is not allowed. Hmm. I do want to do a. a a hardcore at some point it'd be kind of cool if they uh they did end up adding like multiple character screens like if you could flip between like a main character and a a secondary because then you can you could do a hardcore i don't i don't think anybody uses the end game one because the end game one is it's literally just like a it's like a satellite map. It doesn't tell you. It literally doesn't tell you anything. It would be cool if the like in-game map was like partnered with uh, Map Genie. Hey, hey, bird, join the Discord. Welcome, man. up on the hill yeah the uh the what's it called uh the pestly video they were talking they were talking about that the first ones here.
don't know if I heard yelling or not. If I did, it's from the far corner over here by the water. Oh, no raiders. Come on, how many hits? How many hits? Thirteen hits, bro. I hit that dude thirteen times. What's the pen difference between the GSB and then the the full metal jacket? I was if I was running the uh, I was running full mellow jacket there that would have been a kill unfortunate oh I should have just stayed committed and stuck with the full metal jacket ammo I'm gonna do one more scav on Lighthouse, try to look for those vertex spawns real quick, and then that'll be my last one. Gotta, I'm gonna unwind for like 30 minutes, slowly get ready for work over the next 30, and then go to work. I need to have a good weekend, I need to sell some cars this weekend. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. up a couple discord members today there are so many ways to, to die in discord or uh in tarkov i hate i hate when uh when people immediately go to cheating i haven't been in like my the discord with my uh the, one of the guys that i used to pl uh, play with and I saw that they were in there. I was like, oh, you know what? I'm working on my video. I'm not going to play, but I'll just use it as I'll throw their stream up on, in Discord and I'll watch their stream. Um, and literally, as soon as I, I had joined, they were at the like, it was probably like two minutes before they ended up, they ended up dying to an engagement. And then immediately they're, they immediately disbanded because they were talking about cheaters. And like, dude, I tried, I try not to go to the, that's a cheater like i don't want it to be a cheater 
<laughs> like, it's not an excuse to me. I would oh, uh, I would rather be killed by uh, in a in a fight that I lost because I can look back at it and be like, all right, well, I should have done this in hindsight. I should have done that. Like you can analyze your own gameplay after, uh, after like after the fact, like that engagement right there. I saw him as I was coming as I was coming up the final set of stairs, and. I thought I could wide swing and and get the heads the head spray like immediately, but um, but I didn't. What I could have done is I could have I could have head glitched the stairs right there and fought head glitch to head glitch. But, but yeah, I'd much rather die to to somebody that I can see. I am. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, just because it's a cheater doesn't mean that you played that that great. You can there's many times that I've I've out traded a, a cheater and ended up living. Doesn't happen all the times, you know, but um With you, anything really surprise me? Sonar movements so they can auto record your deaths. Yeah, I mean, I already have everything automatically downloaded through um, through Twitch, so it's not a I pretty much just go back, re download my mod, my VOD, and then uh. But I guess that would that would make it make it quick so that way you can just go and see all your deaths right there and Yeah. I'm one of those people that is wanting that's wanting a death cam. Uh I think that if they made it to where you can't see the death the death cam until like after the raid's over, so that way if somebody has like a really good a really good location and you can't just like essentially stream snipe them from within the game but if they made it to where like once the raid is boom last minute is hit then you can watch it that would be that'd be good i'm fully on fully on board for that is it yeah i'll come over here and hit the brown building i wonder if there's a PMC body over here that I can go grab now. Usually when that was sh that grenade launcher opens fire, it's usually a kill. Hey, before the stream at the end of stream, the interchange video was hard and yes. By hard, I hope you meant good. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty instant. So yeah, it would be. I'll probably end up doing that just so you can you can instantly go back. Cause I do see people just instantly pull up their death cam, and it's like there's they didn't have to do anything. It's just right there. We've been getting Jude in this place. I feel like they knocked down the loot in here. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Like how, um, even if it was just your engagements, like, you know, um, did you ever play, did you ever hit, um, or play Halo 3? Halo 3 had on, on Bungie.net where you could check, track all your stats. They had a heat map and it would literally show you where all of your most common kills were, where your deaths were, showed you all of that. see any bodies on the that are readily visible so i'm not going to go re, i'm not going to go search for them scat
to Raider. Oh shit, he moved. Wait, he's not ready. He's not, he's not on me yet. Wait for you to calm down. Fucker, straight ahead. Oh. 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 I was, come on. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go hang out, eat, watch some food. Um, yeah, watch like it. Bungie.net. Halo 3 Eat Matt. Like they used to have these. Where it showed you where all your engagements I remember this map. Um where it showed all your engagements, where you were most traveled. They need to do this for uh for Tarkov, that'd be tight. But, like I said, that's my last one. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, great start to your weekend. Um, thanks for hanging out with me. If you guys want to join the Discord, by all means, we're welcome to... Well, you're welcome. We'd love to have you. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day.